When I was in Colombia earlier this year, I was lucky enough to be able to meet a legend of frame building, Agustin Hincapi. He's based just outside of Medellin, and one Sunday morning I rode out to meet him and his family at his workshop, hoping to learn a little more about this free-thinking master craftsman. Just found out that, that the reason Tino started uh, building frames was basically to find a way of supporting his new family. So his wife was pregnant and he learned how to build frames, basically, which is an amazing, quite a powerful way of starting, really, because I guess back home now, if you're to launch into custom building, you do it almost as, a, as an alternative career path as opposed to actually a way of making a living. So uh, incredible, really. And that there is one of the first ones. Sobre, entonces cuando empecé a hacer bicicletas no sabía hacer bicicletas entonces un amigo me prestó unos libros en inglés que no sé inglés y menos sabía inglés entonces okay. me tocó comenzar a traducir no. a traducir con diccionario en mano and so in in the beginning you use lugs so steel sí, lugs and steel okay and steel, el, el tradicional cuadro Entonces no sabía geometría. Entonces cuando llegaba a mi país una bicicleta bonita, yo medía tra 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 tra. Entonces 56, 56. Hey, my size. Sí, sí, size. Mira, yo era ciclista. Yo corrí en bicicleta igual que tú. Cuando decía hacer bicicleta, la primera, primera la hice para mí. Okay. La primera, primera para mí. Entonces salía a montar en bicicleta y mis amigos la veían hermosa. Hágame una. O sea, ya me conocían, ya sabía que yo montaba y, y fueron los amigos que les comencé a hacer bicicletas. Where did you get the the steel from and the lugs? Where did you where did you buy them? Aquí en la ciudad había una persona que tenía contactos con Italia y él traía los materiales y me facilitaba ya sea de Italia o sea de Panamá y me facilitaron conseguir los materiales okay. con unos amigos. And I am master frame builder from Reynolds 753. Reynolds? Reynolds hey. 753. Yeah? Sí. Ah, cool. <laughs> you built from Reynolds and Columbus? Reynolds, Columbus, Ichiwata, Tanje, eh, B2 71, to Temper. Yeah? Oh. When did you go from, from lugs to fillet brazing? Yo prefiero el, el blocks. I prefer all. Yeah? Sí, I prefer blocks por cuestiones de, de ingeniería. Pero con la llegada de todos estos tubos de diámetros diferentes, de formas diferentes, tenemos, tenemos que todos los constructores en el mundo tienen que migrar hacia el fillet. No es que sea mejor el fillet, el lock es mucho mejor. While Agustin's favorite method of building frames is still with steel tubes and lugs, he will happily turn his hand to just about anything. Fillet brazing, TIG welding, and not just in steel, but also aluminium and titanium as well. He just draws the line at carbon, though. And TIG welding with the argon gas? Sí, with argon. ¿Quieres ver? Yeah, sí. down there? Sí. Okay. This is my TIG welder. Ah, okay. This is a new, a new welder with many functions. Yeah. Sí. And and the argon gas argon, for titanium? Sí, well, argon, sí. And did you teach yourself titanium TIG welding? Sí, señor. Sí? Sí, señor. Wow. Over the years, Tino has built thousands of frame sets, always working closely with his customers to create their dream bikes. Perhaps the best showcases of his craftsmanship and the level of customization he's capable of, though, are the bikes that he's built for his grandson. I don't know quite why I have all the amazing bikes here, but this has really hit the spot. And it's, it's just how much thought has gone into to making this bike for, for his grandson. So these, these custom-made handlebar and stem, I think you can see the tiny diameter here. So obviously kids have got little hands, so a normal size handlebar just doesn't work. So here you've got this diameter, what's that, like, uh, <laughs> like a, a centimetre? Yeah, no, like 12 yeah, millimetres? 12 millimetres. 12 millimetres. Yeah. Or yeah. half inch. <laughs> yeah, that's just beautiful. Este, this, wow. is, this is la, the new bike. Wow. <laughs> mira, mira, mira. Look at that. No. Look at this. Can Arms custom made. 
Custom crank custom, cars. Custom, custom crank cams. How, how 100, did you do 135, that? 135 millimeters. So you, you drilled? Sí, and drilled then, uh, and first, sí. Wow. The dropouts, do you, ah, do you make says, those or do you buy them? No, I hand... Uh, okay. Look at, this is amazing. Sí, Beautiful. Like, esta, ¿cierto? Termina así. No. Sí, mira. Esto es simplemente. Sí, las patas a mano. Look at that, it's a custom dropout. So sí. a standard one. Sí, está bien. And then you weld the, the hood around the edge. Build the wheels too? Sí, I build the wheels. Sí. Well, yeah, I guess you make everything. Yeah, uh, and I paint too. You paint? Sí. Here, pero como usted venía, guardé todo. <laughs> and so all of this amazing like equipment is, is things that you've accumulated over the years. So there's, you know, in amongst here, there's old equipment as well as new. Por los años, es toda una historia. Hay muchas cosas con historias. A través de los años y todo lo voy guardando y todo lo guardo y lo reciclo nuevamente. Hay cosas que son viejísimas. Sí. And this. This. And this. Whoa. Ah, so do you know what it is? Yes, I, re I remember from Moots for bending the, bending the cold setting. Ah, qué risa con Doblando yes, Moots. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> My arms are not strong enough. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm truly honored that Tino's watched uh, one of the videos Excuse I made me. when I went to Moots. And uh, we're just talking about. The fact that I wasn't able to cold set a tube, a titanium tube, and he's got exactly the same bit of equipment. For seat stays? Oh, for forks. Wow. Because nobody nobody makes forks. No, do they? No, no. It's like you, you buy a, a custom steel frame and then you and then you put a carbon fork in the front of it. It just seems like everyone, all the builders do that. Sí, pero yo, yo hago el tenedor también. Si quiere carbono, el carbono sí viene hecho de, de, de Columbus. No, pero este yo lo hago. Cuando es una geometría muy, muy especial, yo prefiero hacer el, el tenedor. Porque los tenedores... You can change the, the geometry. Sí. With that, so the trail and... A trail and... Uh, esto, the rake. Yeah. And the trail. And the angle. It's very important for the handling of the bike. Yeah. Sí. Oh, you have English. <laughs> so what, what's your choice of, of rake and head angle sí. and trail? Which, what would your perfect be? 73. 73. 45 millimeters. Here. Yeah. Es, es, es. Pero, depending on what it's going to be. If it's going to be very long and with the equipage, Con carga, con carga. Es preferible tener esto largo y esto corto. I have un récord mundial. Yo tengo un récord yeah. mundial. Sí. What, eh, he, eh, on the kilómetro. pista? El kilómetro. ¿Kilómetro? Efraín Domínguez. Ah. Efraín Domínguez se el récord mundial del kilómetro con mi bicicleta diseñada y construida. Wow. Sí. That's cool. So world record, uh, sí. a uh, Efraim Dominguez, who's a very famous Colombian track sprinter, sí. he set the kilo world record. Uh, what year? ¿Qué años? Mm, 80, 83. Ah. Agustin is a free thinker and incredibly creative. As well as building frames, he's also made the tools that he needs to do so, like this movable arm that allows him to work on the frame with far greater ease. His whole workshop, in fact, feels like an Aladdin's cave. Brainchild. Uh, brainchild. Brainchild. Yeah, it's brilliant. Todas las bicicletas son simétricamente iguales, derecha e izquierda. Entonces esto está totalmente plano, no nivelado, plano. Entonces se trata de poner este plano en la mitad del cuadro. Yeah. Pero. No. Cierto. 
head shift. And then the head shift. And que tú vas por la carretera y ves dos huellas de bicicleta. Está torcida. Sí. Tiene que una no la huella. <laughs> yeah. In keeping with his free thinking spirit, Agustin uses AutoCAD software, not specific BikeCAD, as he feels he's able to be more creative with it. En la mesa, este borde, este borde, this line, this line, and then, tomo estas referencias, referencia, 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 ah. referencia, y lo pongo aquí. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Sí. Entonces esto es mío, esto no es... Not, not in the world, right? it's just me. Yes, I was, I was thinking that. I've, I've not seen people build frames in that way before. So, so you worked that out yourself, is that right? It's me, I developed it. Todos construyen con eh, Anvil. Todos usan un jig hecho en Estados Unidos, Anvil. O, ah, no, en Inglaterra hay muchos con jigs construidos por ellos mismos. En Inglaterra solamente. Okay. Sí. ¿Cuánto bicicleta para Anos? Es muy relativo, eso es muy poquito, no es, no es, no es mucho. Okay. Pero entre todo lo que llevo, yo 3,000. <laughs> sí. Sí, entre todos los 40 años, 3,000. Only you still in the workshop. Ahí es, este taller es una persona, yo. Sí. Sí. <laughs> sí, tengo un lugar. Aquí está George. I was going to say, is that George Hincapie? Sí, sí. That's weird. George Hincapie just turned up. Sí. While coming to the end of our day, bizarrely, ex-pro George Hincapi stopped by to borrow a track pump. Now, despite the last name, he's no relation to Agustin, although I learned that his parents are from Medellin, and he was actually just down here for a few days of riding with another familiar face, Bobby Julik. It was a small world, or at least it was. Well, thank you so much. Do you know, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, uh, Glad to meet you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and to you too. I've got to say, this has been such an honor to meet Augustine and see a true craftsman, not just the frames that he's built, but all the equipment that he's made for himself as well to, to refine the process of frame building. Absolutely fantastic. And I've got to say, there is definitely space in my quiver of bikes for a Hincapi. Oh yeah.